I, that he's very stubborn. You're so stubborn. He would never let me win in an argument or my mom. You would always try to have the last word in everything. Right? Stubborn is, to her, it can be stubborn. To some other people, it's wisdom. Would you want your dad to be in your crew during a zombie <laughs> apocalypse? <laughs> yeah. I would not. Because you, you would run very slow. I would run very slow. <laughs> yeah. Then we probably would die by the time. <laughs> no, because he has a, a knee injury, so he can't run very fast. Right? My, my pickup is better than you. Ah! It's just the speed only. Pick up is better than me. I refuse to believe that. Yeah. Your daughter or your son would change about you. What would it be? Or you're so perfect, there's nothing to change about you. I think nothing to change. <laughs> for them, for them, about me, I think nothing to change. Maybe they want me to. Uh, have more time, have more time with them, yeah, have more time. Yeah, this is the change, more time. Because like even on the weekends, right, we all have different like training sessions and matches and it all like overlaps with each other, so we barely have any free time to spend together as a family, yeah. My family, uh, we treat sports as a, something very important. Uh, because sports actually help my kids in their studies. A lot of people, a lot of parents got a misconception that if they use too much time on sports, the study will drop. But actually, it's the reverse. When you use more time to uh, do sports, right, uh, you have lesser time for study. So the time management comes in. Effective time management comes in. So when they, they study, they are focused. So actually, the result will be better. Something like this, in this direction. <laughs> Okay. Do I just ask anything? Yes. Okay. Um, do you still see yourself living in Singapore in 10 years' time? Or where, where do you envision us living with the whole family? When I think, I think for the family, not only for myself. So I consider for my whole family. I have four, four children, so three boys and one girl. So the boys, they need to do army <laughs> and that's in Singapore so for so 10 years after 10 years when they are, they are done with the army I can go anywhere but before that I think maybe Singapore yeah what is your least favorite activity to do with me and why shopping eh. okay because fair enough for for me I for me I, I I know what I want I get it I go I know what I want, sometimes. <laughs> it's always like this. So shopping is very tiring for me. I can go running, I can go play soccer, it's okay. But shopping, I will get eggs, I don't know why. <laughs> okay, fair enough. Orange. orange. Oh, it's our first orange. I have to put that here. Between the two of you, who has deeper knowledge of your modern global game? Modern global game? Between oh. the two of you. Oh, you for sure. Oh, definitely. Definitely. Yeah. He would always show me like YouTube videos of, of um, random highlights, right? You always show me videos of like messy scoring and stuff. Random highlights and the uh, philosophy of yeah. certain coaches, what they do, what they do. Yeah. He would force me to sit in front of like the laptop and just like look at videos and analyze so i will just tell her that maybe this is good for you mm -hmm. I, I will make my kids all look yeah. at the video not at not at the scoring portion you know it's the the before the scoring portion what they do uh, with the paws and the arrows you know mm -hmm. uh, to 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 know more about the game so they as a player i think if you want to play soccer in a certain level, at a certain level, you need to uh, know all this. 
to be better. In three words, describe my ability in the kitchen. I don't even... Not so bad. Ah! <laughs> not, not so bad. I thought bad. you would come at me. Not so bad. If it's something that you, you want to do, I think you make it, you do it well, even for the food. Yeah, something like this. But I barely, I rarely I, cook. I, I tasted before, so it, it was okay. Okay, yeah. okay, okay. Mm. I appreciate the effort you put in riding us to training, riding us back, despite it being like 9.30, 10 p.m. at night, he would still be there to, to bring me back after his work also, so I know it's very tiring, but he'll be there nonetheless, and yeah. I don't think I told you that, so. Thank you. <laughs> Happy Father's Day! Thank you, thank you. Any? You don't do hugs? Yeah, of course. We don't do hugs, what? We don't usually do hugs. <laughs>